kind of refreshing. All right, imagine, if you will, a simpler time, a time without cell phones, video games, and traffic. Well, you can't live in the 1800s, but you can see what it was like. Sauter Village in Archbold has expanded, and now they have a walking timeline through history. Ryan Vetter shows us more in this week's Around Town. And today I'm on the road in Archbold, Ohio, or at Sauter Village, and Sauter Village has some exciting new expansions out here, and we're here with Chris, and Chris is going to tell us a little bit. What do you guys got going on out here? Well, we are pleased that we have just opened the new segment of our historic timeline, Pioneer Settlement. So what we have done is try to put that history in a little more easily understood format by putting the buildings in chronological order so that it feels like you're walking through time. Oh, when somebody comes out here, obviously you've got people in costume of the day. Um, what can they expect when they come out here now? Well, they can expect to hear the stories of the past, but they're not just stories that you would find in a book. They're stories about real people, real families who came. It's the stories of how hard things were from them, how hard they worked, and they learn them in an interactive manner. They get to talk to the uh, interpreters and ask all kinds of questions so that they end up understanding what it was really like. There are two um, brand new buildings that we didn't have before that um, we've restored. One would be the Whitmer Roth um, uh, house. That house was uh, built back in 1844, and Anna Souter Whitmer Roth, who lived in that house, had her first 10 children in that house. Then the other one would be the Holdeman Church, and the Holdeman Church, um, it was a church from Pettisville, and it was a branch of the Mennonite church built um, in the late 1800s. Okay, we moved inside the Whitmer Roth house here, and we were here with Shelley, who's an interpreter here at Sauter Village. And what exactly, are you, you're actually cooking something here, aren't you? Yeah, I'm making uh, Beertrum soup, which is a tarragon flavor. That's what Beertrum is in German. Um, and it's ham-based with whatever vegetables you had available. If they had a you know, a spring nearby, mm -hmm. you might keep a little jug of lemonade in there and it would be cool and that would be refreshing. Lemonade might even be just vinegar water. They called that lemonade too. Um, and that was a very refreshing drink at, in 1844. So Vinegar water. Yeah, vinegar water. <laughs> We're going to put the recipe for that on our website. I, I tell a lot of different stories. Sometimes I tell them the story of the house and I watch where their eyes are going and I see when something clicks with them then I pick up on that. Sometimes it's, they're more interested in the food or the recipes. Um, sometimes they want to know more about the individual people in the family or what life was like at that time. So you try to tailor it to what each person is interested in. Well, we are on the road once again in Archbold. We're at Sauter Village, and uh, we're going to put a link to their website on ours, WTOL.com, if you'd like more information. And I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to try and maybe have some soup or try and make some soup. But I will get that, that recipe for the lemonade, the vinegar water lemonade, um, because I know you guys will really like that. Once again, we're on the road. I'm Ryan Vetter. This is News 11. <laughs> well, you know, Ryan's sick today. Yeah, in an unrelated story, no, Ryan no, Vetter seriously. did call in sick. But. It is a beautiful place. The kids love, they'd love to go there. Uh -huh. you know, so and the big the kids, too. The fall especially, yep.